All right, y'all listen. I don't know where my mallet is. I know this is a running theme for me, but I really don't know where it is. And I sat down, I'm ready to record, so. Hey girl. Hello, Leo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and I'm gonna be doing your general reading for this week. And for any type of general reading, you do have to rely on your intuition. That's what I do ask for you to do any type of reading that I provide, is for you to rely on your intuition. Because I could be talking about a work situation, but for you, it could be talking about family, right? Um, for general readings, everything may not resonate with you, and that's perfectly okay. That's normal, right? So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, I'm going to be pulling three rows for you, Leo. Uh, the first couple rows are what's to come. Um, and the blessings coming your way. And then our last row, that's where we're going to get into like the nitty gritty of it and the suggestion from Spirit of what you need to do to hold yourself accountable um, this week to be able to receive th these blessings coming your way, right? Because I can tell you what's coming, but it does you no good to know what's coming if you don't match that energy, right? If you don't do the upkeep that it requires for you to receive those blessings. So let's get for let's get started. Uh, so for your first row, Leo, we have the Ace of Water, the Nine of Fire, and then the Six of Earth. The so Ace of Water talks about the resurgence of something, Leo. And if I'm remembering correctly from your last reading I did for you, it was, I feel like there was like a connection that you were trying to make work. Yeah, not, girl, <laughs> that's giving me confirmation. Hello? Um, yeah, I feel like last week I pulled the Nine of Swords for you, and this is the card that flew out when I was talking about it. Um, the Ace of Swords, I can't speak, y'all. The, yeah, Ace of Water, it talks about the resurgence of something, and I feel like it's talking about the resurgence of some kind of connection that you have going on before, from like the previous week. It's still, this is, I feel like the same energy of like the same person or the same environment or the same work, like whatever that your situation is, obviously you're engaging in it still. And I pulled the Fool card as well as the Ten of Discs. So this could definitely be either or because the Ten of Discs can, is usually talking about in terms of like career and stuff. So maybe you're like trying to make something work and like it's frustrating. You've been dealing with like a lot of resistance perhaps. Leo, that's what I feel. I feel like you've been dealing with a lot of resistance actually. And so like, there's like this frustration that's coming forward. You're wondering if you're the fool or not. You're wondering if you should just like sit down and just like give up for a while. Um, and that's just not the case, Leo. I f because I say this because we have the nine of fire that came forward as well. The nine of fire. Um, the nine of fire comes in and ask, just asks you to not give up. Ask you to keep pushing through and to protect that which you've created. And so, it's interesting because you have you have a lot of tens here. Because I pulled the ten of discs for you, and the ten of discs is usually like I associate this for the Necronomicon, like manifesting something and taking in your own power. But I still always associate the tens for like the completion of something. Um, it's interesting that it's like what do we see here, Seagull. Now it's the time for deep emotional healing. It's this is kind of giving me the energy, Leo. That it's like a. If I were to describe this energy, it's very much so like a divorce happening and then someone like taking half of someone else's money, but it wasn't like their money to begin with. That's the kind of energy that I'm seeing from this. So obviously like all y'all are now obviously going through a divorce right now, but it just like, I feel it's almost as if in that kind of sense of where it's like, uh, something's being taken from you and you're being asked to protect it. Right, something's being taken from you, or like someone's trying to latch on to you in some type of way. Something's, someone is trying to invade your space, basically. Someone is trying to bring you out of balance. Um, and we have the Six of Earth coming in. I'm gonna pull a couple of clarifiers for this one, actually, because the Six of Earth, like, first and foremost, it talks about balance, Ace of Coins inverted. Mm, no, this is this is upright. Okay, so this is making sense now. The six of Earth is like a new energy. The six of Earth comes in as a new energy, and I say this because the Ace of Coins, which is like the cornucopia, it is the cornucopia, right? This is like the blank check 
that the universe gets you and you write down how much you want. And then the other clarifiers I pulled was the Ten of Cups, beautiful card, with the Seven of Wands. So if I were to continue on with this example of like the divorce, someone taking half of what's yours, um, the Six of Earth energy comes in as like new energy of where it's like letting go of the old, because Ten of Cups comes completion of a cycle, y'all. Um, Ten of Cups comes in with that completion of a cycle, but it's like something new is coming forward or has come forward or something takes your distraction that like makes you feel fulfilled and like gives you that abundance. And you have the Seven of Wands here where it's like really like taking a stand. This is, that's what it is. Like this first row, uh, Leo is very much so someone like taking a stand for themselves and claiming what's theirs, claiming what's theirs and defending themselves. So while you're not, maybe no one's necessarily stealing anything and you're trying to take anything physical from you, maybe it could just be the sense of like, someone's losing their control of you. Or in that someone could be like a relation, like a toxic relationship, uh, friendship, family, um, work, wife, work environment, right? Maybe like a controlling boss, you get a new job opportunity you, and it's more fulfilling, very much so that energy as well with uh, um, those three things. A win-win outcome is in forecast, full moon and Libra. Another about scale as well. Something I want to point out to you, um, Leo, is like you had two different scales here. So I feel like it's extremely important for you to balance and like, um, I keep hearing checks and balances as well. So maybe just like this week, don't, um, this is going to be for like very particular few, I feel, <laughs> but it's like, and I usually don't do these kind of messages, but I feel like this week, be careful on spending. I feel, um, because while the full moon in Libra is talking about when, when outcome is in forecast, this, that's covering the energy of where it's like, you're dropping off the old energy being like, you know what? I don't, I, you come to terms with it. It's like, I'm not fighting for you anymore. I'm not, whatever you lose your control. I'm moving on to this new thing. Um, so it's beautiful. But the thing I just want to point out is where it's like, I feel like, I just feel like it's important for you to just not be careful with your spending this week and maybe for like the following weeks, just because I feel like you might deal with a situation where you would wish you had extra funds. I'm not trying to sound morbid or anything like that. Like, I'm just like, that's just, I wasn't, I wouldn't be able to drop if I didn't say it, Leo. So, but yeah, take that as you will, if it resonates. Uh, for your second row now, Leo, uh, we have the 10 of fire again, another 10. So definitely completions of cycles. You're definitely completing something and moving on to something, something much better. Um, some, you're like leaving something that was extremely stressful for you. That really took a lot of your time and was draining. I feel. <sighs> yeah eight of earth as well you're going to you're going back you're like not going back but you're changing directions it's like the eight of earth comes in as like if i were to use this as an analogy or an example it's like changing your degree changing your major you're like changing your major in school sort of thing it's like you realize something happened with like your old major uh, maybe you wanted to be like a psychologist before and like something happened where it's just like you had like a really bad teacher, professor, or like you only wanted to be like a psychologist because you actually like psychology only interested you because like you have like your own um, psychological issues that you wanted to work out. And now that you worked it out, that cycle is completed and you no longer feel drawn to being a psychologist. So instead you wanted to be a nurse. You want to be like a veterinarian or something. That's what the eight of earth kind of energy is. Um, and that's just kind of what I feel. <laughs> I speak better in examples, y'all. Don't mind me. And then you have the king of air where it's just like speak like confidence, owning yourself more. So yeah, like you're definitely just like coming into your own element more now. Um, I pulled some clarifiers. I'm also going to show the ten of fire. I don't think I showed that. The clarifiers I pulled for you a lot. Like it's just new energy, more emphasis on new youthful energy. Because I pulled the page of coins, which is more emphasis again on career change um more emphasis on like a shift in like your finances so it goes makes sense as why i feel that like sense of like asking you to save your money right now not saying that you're going to be struggling or anything but i just feel like maybe like something like a trip comes up that you want to take or like maybe something comes up that you want to like buy or invest in maybe this is a good week for investing because you do have a lot of good cards like the ace of coins as well so maybe this is a good week for investing but like i just feel like you're gonna wish you had these funds to like spend it on something else rather than like wasting it on 
whatever you want to waste, like whatever we all waste our own money on sort of thing. Just don't be wasteful, I guess. I'm not trying to say like something's bad happening. Like <laughs> I'm gonna drop it now because I don't want to push it, but y'all get it. Um, then we have the Knight of Coins and the Knight of Wands. And again, I always associate the Knight cards with useful energy. And so when you have, have it with the coins and the wands, it's like a new path when it comes to like again like with the eight of earth energy this is like a new path in terms of like going back to school to do something else going from a psychologist to um a physical therapist sort of thing like you're changing and it's new it's new in terms of like new money and it's also new in terms of um passion as well like you get new fulfillment from it you get new drive because it's like you're no longer functioning from a place of like um doing like psychology and thinking that was like your passion but when in actuality when you started doing your physical therapy you're just like wait a minute i like this more that's that energy um so just really good i want to go back to this ten of fire though leo because i just want to go add emphasis on like there's some situation that like you need to let go of if you're not already letting go of it from like what this first door was talking about leo there's something that you do need to let go of because it's affecting your health in some type of way. And then this card says life is out of balance as well. So another card talking about balance. There's such an emphasis and it's been so like subtly set in your reading, Leo, of like the need for balance. And I feel like something or someone especially is bringing you out of balance and you're just kind of needing to claim your power back with that king of air and asking you to speak with more confidence, asking you to just own yourself more. So yeah, just something to uh, keep in mind with that. I just feel drawn to give you some more animal cards, uh, Leo. So for your last row, we have the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and then the Eight of Wands inverted. And remember, your third row is for what you need to work on. I pulled this card um, for as well. I didn't intend it for it to be for this row, but it makes sense. So fitting. The platypus card is saying not just kind of like stop complaining, put things in perspective and like don't wallow, don't self pity. Um, Queen of Cups comes in. This is maybe asking you to be more in touch with your emotions, but kind of to yourself. Um, I feel I feel like this is kind of like a do something self caring where it's like where you kind of discover yourself or just like love yourself a little bit maybe like you know have like a little extra skincare routine or something just open yourself discover yourself a little bit because once you disconnect from some type of energy you need to just like be one with yourself i feel the knight of cups as well be careful of like how you cope with your stress and i feel like this goes back to your queen of cups as well that I feel like it's just like be careful of your coping mechanisms i'm not going to tell you not to like do whatever it is that you want to do right because like we all have our vices let's be real like i don't care who you are whether you're spiritual or not we all have our freaking vices um just be careful with it don't get too consumed by it this week sort of thing and it could be like you're spending maybe like you're you have you do retail therapy and so it goes along with that message is just like don't over splurge but yeah that's what it is just don't over splurge in for a way of coping with stress um, the way that you cope with the stress is by cutting some connection that's bringing you stress. You don't cope with stress by finding a way to manage it that's toxic to you. Um, energy balance. Hello, Leo. This is just a week of balancing for you. I know this is a boring, like, that. this can be like a boring message to some, but it's like, this is just such a week for balance. Yeah, the eight of wands as well, which was inverted. It's like, yeah, I feel like you just need to bring yourself back into balance and figure out just discovering yourself. This is a week I feel like you're just kind of discovering yourself and letting go of things that like weighed you down. Maybe like you have like you dealt with like a narcissistic like parent at one point or something. Like I just feel like you just need this is like a time of like recovery, balancing your energies again and just yeah, I don't know. Really good like honestly, I like this reading, Leo. I really do. I like this reading because and let me tell you why. It's because I feel like it's, I want to talk about the full moon in Libra. I don't like this card just because I'm a Libra Scorpio cusp. I like this because it's like, this card is telling me this win-win outcome in forecast. This this is telling me that you're going to be doing, like you're actively taking the steps of cutting out toxic connections right now. You're actively in the steps of claiming your power. You're not, you're breaking this cycle. You have so many different tens coming in, giving like giving this awareness of like the cycle that you're breaking and you're starting with all this new energy 
right? You have the Ten of Fire, um, you have the Ten of Cups, you had uh, other cards. <laughs> but you know what I mean, uh, Leo? I'm gonna close out this reading, but I do just wanna say I appreciate you allowing me to do this reading so much. I hope this was helpful. Um, if this reading was resonant to you, I'd love for you to give me a like and subscribe. Let me know how these cards resonate with you in your way. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to connect with you hopefully again soon, Leo. I love you so much. Bye.